Hello. Today I'm going to give a, a demonstration on drawing on the iPad, iPad Pro, 12 inch, and drawing on a sheet of paper, which I normally do. Now, when I first got this iPad, I had to buy a pencil to go with it in order to draw on the iPad. And uh, I charged it up, sketched away, it worked quite well. Uh, and then I thought, this is a nice piece of equipment. I'll try it on a sheet of paper. So, got some paper, on the old pencil, started sketching away. And after about 10 minutes, I suddenly realised it's not working. Nothing. Useless. Just a piece of plastic. And you might think to yourself, it took you 10 minutes to find out it's not working. <laughs> You've got to realise that at my age, the old brain's a bit slow. So uh, I got over that problem of the pencil not working on paper. And so what I'm going to do now is to demonstrate Drawing on the iPad, drawing on the paper. Paper, iPad. iPad, paper. And at the end of the, the video, we'll uh, decide which is the best. Well, I say we, you decide which is the best. Because I know which is the best already. You know, I haven't even started drawing yet. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, well, then we'll go back to the drawing board now. Right, here we go. I've got my iPad on my drawing board and in order to start drawing uh, on the iPad you have to download an app uh, in order to draw. And I uh, downloaded an app called Procreate, which is there. And uh, it's a very good drawing application. I went on YouTube and uh, people were saying how good it was so we got it so in order to start you click on this and then you click on uh, a new canvas so uh, I'll click on this one the top one and uh, here's the broad canvas in which you draw now in order to start drawing you have to select a brush or a pen and that's a little highlight here so you press that what you do then is you go to inking and after you've selected inking you've got all of your various types of brushes and I always draw on the technical pen tap that so I've selected that now and now I've got to select the color of the ink so that's that little circle here if I tap it, uh, you can do a red one or bring it down to the black at the bottom. It turns black. And that's the pen I use. Now, in order to get a broad or a thin stroke of the pen, this is the guideline. If I bring it to the top, see, like that, and sketch here, you've got broad line. If I bring it down halfway you get a thinner line and if I bring it down a bit further you get a thin line so uh, and this one is the uh, brightness of the ink fading and then up to, I always have it up to the top so I've now got the pen so what I'll now do is draw a face There we go, eyebrows, lines of worry, <laughs> I've got those, and then a little grin, there. 
that's my face drawn. Okay, now we want a bit of shading. So what you have to do is go to the selection pen and you look down until you get charcoal, which is here. Tap that and you get various shades of tar charcoal. I always go, go back, I always go to the top one mainly because it's a, a thin shading line so I'll tap on that and bring that up to the top now this is you can see I can vary the shade now we want the colour so let's tip on here you can get a blue tap there and see it's changed so now when I put the pen to paper I can shade the blue like so and if I want it to a bit bigger I enlarge it here and I can go broader strokes here okay that's that right now I've already selected the charcoal so what I do now is if I want to change the colour I go down here and go there tap that so it's a little brown colour and now I make sure that the stroke is thinner and now I can I can shade the face like so so we've done that now what I do then is move it to it's now a red colour here so what I do there is give him a bit of colour on his cheeks there now I go back to the pen like so go back and now I shall go to inking again there's inking and uh, the technical pen which I've used here and then I have moved this pointer to the white there so now anything I draw on here is white can't see it here but if I draw it here I've put the face in water um, let's make the stroke a bit thicker as you can see that side little drops coming from him there now we've got a face in the water now what I can do now is select black now my pen is black now so what you can do is you can give more sign my name and basically that is drawing on an iPad and if you want to change it or well, this is the bit I, I like on an iPad is once you've done the drawing what you can do now is just tap on this little spanner here and you can play a video of what you just done I like this because what I can do is uh, I can do a joke on here and I can export it immediately to YouTube uh, without filming it with a camera uh, which I'm, at the moment I'm filming with a camera because the camera's up here looking down on my iPad 
So that basically is uh, how you draw on an iPad. But what I'll do now is I'll just do one more face. So let's uh, select the pen, pen again. We're on the pen, so that's okay. We're on the black ink. And uh, we're on the thickness. So That's the ink one. Now we'll go to shading again to charcoal. Charcoal. Tap the top one, that's the one I normally use. Make sure that it's a bit shading there. That's the colour I want. You can see, but I don't want that colour, I want blue. So tap on the blue, like so and you Okay, that's that. Now the other thing you can do is you've got a rubber here, which I've just tapped on. Right, a rubber. So what you can do now, if you wanted to, you could just... rubbing out but uh, as I've already put shading on uh, you can see okay you can have it dripping down his face and the other thing what I, I like to do is faint purple I like to put a little shading under the eyes, makes them look a bit as though they're tired. And there you have it. That is the iPad drawing of faces. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Oh, what I'll do, I'll show you the me drawing this one with the little video film. Tap that. Tap that. And there you have it. Two faces for the price of one. So now we'll go and we'll draw on paper. And you can see which is the best. So I'll just uh, get rid of this. And in order to get rid of it, you tap the gallery, like so. You select the painting, which is this one. Tap it, it's ticked. There, you go to delete, delete, it's gone. Now we'll go, what we'll do now is, we should draw on paper. Okay, here we go. Here's paper, my favourite, oh, I shouldn't say favourite, but the one I like to draw best. So what we'll do is we'll draw a face like we did last time. There. 
There he is. There. And uh, if we wanted a bit of shading, what I do is get a, a blue marker, a brush, and some water, and go around. Like so. I want to do a little bit more. Say, I wanted to do a bit of red. It's done. Lately, bit of yellow. Oh, we'll draw. And if I wanted uh, a bit more blue. Either add it this way. This is very quick, just a demonstration. Now, that's one. Now, it, what I can do now, which you can't, <laughs> which you can't do on an iPad, is wet the paper. Once you've wet it, like so, you get a pencil water soluble pencil and you draw bearing in mind that this as a wet sheet of paper so even with ink I can sketch round like so I've speeded this up a bit just to get the, the film done. Now, and I must admit, I like the spontaneous reaction. water and ink at the same time there see I can control I can't you're fiddling about really with an iPad checking to see what brushes to use whereas I've got all this nice messy paint here which I can dab different colours there 
the red here is a bit purplish being filmed but uh, you get the idea of drawing on paper so if I was to take that away like so and do a quick sketch again this time I'm pressing I don't have to worry about various thicknesses of the pen there eyebrows he's worried about flies there that's uh, no messing about going up to the top of the page and then at the side I, I have got the patience to do it but this is more spontaneous and more fun well that's what I think anyway make up your own mind because you don't need colour because you can always with this just add water and see the smudged effect in the beard oh, I forgot eyebrows there oh, yeah. So, which do you prefer? I'll let you decide. Thanks for watching.